Hey adventurers! So today we are got we have got a book haul for you. We went to uh, Forget Me Not Books in Fairbanks, Alaska. Yeah, and they were having like a fifty percent off everything in the store sale. So we went and just got as many books as we saw that were interesting to us, and it was like less than twenty bucks. I also have a few books from a thrift store I went to down in Palmer, Alaska. So I have a couple from there as well. And I have a couple that I have bought from bought online for our school or whatnot. So I will start with those real quick. So the first one is the Mark Darthur Volume 1 and 2. I had this for school. Um, I don't think I talked about this in the last book haul that we did. So I'm mentioning it now. Yep. I also have Tristan with Trist Tristran of Thomas by Gottfried von Strasberg. Uh, this is another one that I will be reading for school starting this week. I'll, have, I'll already be into it while the, by the time you see this video. And then the last one for school that I bought is Sir Gawain in the Green Knight, edited and translated by James Winnie. I've read Sir Gawain in the Green Knight, translated by Tolkien back in May, I think. But again, we're reading this one for school, so I needed this edition. So the two books I got from the thrift store was The Diary of Anne Frank by Anne Frank. Uh, which I've actually read before, but I really enjoyed it and I did want a hard copy because I think I read a digital version before. And then I got Soul Surfer by Bethany Hamilton, which is who the story of Soul Surfer is based on. So it would be an autobiography in that sense. I'm not sure the con or the format it's written in because I haven't read it yet, but that's that. I'm excited to, s I'm excited to read it. I've watched the film, so just, just excited to read the story. All right, so starting from the top of my stack, the smallest book and then going to the biggest book, I've got, let's see, sure, we'll go with these three. So I have three Agatha Christie's, I've got Dead Men's Folly, The Underdog and Other Stories, and Murder on the Links. These are all Hercule Poirot uh, stories. So yeah, I've got Murder on the Orient Express and Death on the Nile already, so I just figured I'd add these ones to it since they were there. So the first book I'm going to talk about for y'all is The Alcatraz Rose by Anthony Eglin. I don't know anything about this, it's a murder mystery of some sort, but I read the synopsis and it sounded good and it was just really appealing the cover. But the setting sounded interesting so I'll probably give that a read one of these days here. And then I bought The Quick and the Dead by Louis L'Amour. I like Louis L'Amour, I figured I'd just add another one, is in the nice editions that I like of his books. It's not a second book. That's all right, I don't need all of the second books at the moment, but yeah, that's what I've got. So the other book, I actually got this from the thrift store and I forgot, is a Stephen King called The Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon. And I have heard that this isn't one of his best works, but that was from one person's opinion. So we'll see what happens. Um, like I said, I've read a lot of Stephen King that I've enjoyed, so we'll see. And then I found uh, The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss three bucks in good condition. I was like, I can't, well, it's actually a dollar and a half. Figured I can't actually pass this up because it's uh, in good condition. It's a dollar and a half and I was like, I guess I'll buy it. Um, I, I've been wanting to read it as it is. I just wanted a really nice edition and this will ser ser serve its purpose, I guess. So I did get another copy of Little Women and yes, this is my third copy of Little Women, but on my behalf, oh, there's some interesting thing in here. On my behalf, it's actually like pocket size more, which when I read things, I usually need to be able to save it in my purse, and both of my editions are big. I have a big Barnes & Noble edition, and then I have my hardback. So this one will actually be more travel suitable, plus the spine's already cracked, so it just flats really nicely. So. And then I got uh, book seven and book six. Oh, so book six and book seven of The Wheel of Time by Robert Jordan. I have, I now, that means I now have one, two, three, five, six, seven, and ten. Um, I'm collecting the series, I'm reading through the series. It's been lots of fun so far, although I'm not loving the second book quite as much, but we'll get to that in the wrap-up for November. I don't have a whole lot to say about these because I haven't read the series and I don't know what I'm getting into yet. Okay, so I got Cries from the Lost Island by Kathleen O'Neill Gear. Quite the helpful there. <laughs> this is a science fiction to my understanding. One, once again, just something I picked up at the store and decided to check out. It was in the science fiction section, but it has, it sounds like it has a mystery vibe. I read the synopsis, I checked out the average Goodread star review, just to see, to make sure it wasn't like a one or a two. And it interests me, It's it's got some ancient Egyptian mythology in there, which is something that I like to read and learn about, so And we've been, recently been watching Stargate, and yeah. that's ancient Egyptian mythology mixed with sci-fi, so. With, yes, sort of, yes. 
And then I found this cool Celtic myth and legend by Charles Squire. Um, I have no idea what this is about. I like mythology. I don't know enough about Celtic mythology. I saw it and I was like, this is perfect. I need to learn more about Celtic mythology as it is. So I bought it. I have no idea if it's any good, but again, it was $1.50. Is it, was it in the nonfiction section? I think it was in the mythology section. Um, okay, so I got Cyrano de Bergerac by Edmund Rose Stand. I've watched the old Cyrano de Bergerac movie before this whole trailer for the new one came out, guys. I watched it a couple of years ago. I really enjoyed the movie, and I didn't realize that there was a story. I don't know why. It's like one of those things where you find out, oh, there's a book for that movie, and then you feel dumb. Um, but it's written in a play format. So, I'm excited to read it one of these days and see what the see what the book's like. I'm not excited for that movie. The new one. And then I found I Am Legend by Richard Matheson. This is one that I've heard of for a very long time that I have felt, or that I have been told everybody should read. Um, it's a zombie apocalypse, lone man story type thing, and I'm excited to see if it's any good. I have no idea. I actually got a nonfiction book, which I know is a big surprise. It's called The Great Halifax Explosion by John U. Bacon. Um, Ooh. Yes, I know, you're hungry, Bacon. aren't you? So, this book, I don't know what made me pick it up. I wanted to get something, I just wanted to learn some history, and I was kind of in the mood, and this sounded interesting, and it wasn't a historical event that I remembered learning about, which means it's probably something a little lesser known. Um, so I thought it would be perfect, why not? And then actually the lady as I was checking out was like, hey, that's a really good book, so I Good choice, you know. Then I found a cool hard cop, uh, Barnes and Noble hard cover edition with deckled edges of Grimm's Fairy Tales. I love fairy tales. I have a cool, nice compilation of um, Hans Christian Andersen ones, so now I've got Grimm's to go along with it. I think I have some Aesop's Fables, maybe, but I'm not positive about that. I don't know. I've got several now, and I'm excited for it. Okay. I all have. <laughs> I got the complete poems of Edgar Allan Poe. I haven't read a lot of Poe. What I did read of his, I liked. It was for school several years, quite a while ago. Yeah. Seventh grade. Something like that. It's been a while. No, it was your seventh grade. That means. Oh. It... No, it was your ninth grade. My seventh grade. I don't know. It's been a while. It's been a minute. Um. So I got some of these. I actually read one of them. Read a couple of them. Nothing really noticeable stood out to me, but they were like enjoyable poems. More than sometimes you pick up a poem and you read it and you're like, is, is this even poetry? Is what is the purpose? What is like there's no rhythm and technically poetry doesn't have to have rhyme, but it should have a rhythm. Yeah. So I've enjoyed what I read. Then I found Pirate Latitudes by Michael Crichton. Um, I've known that I need to read Michael Crichton. He's wrote Jurassic Park, um, so I'm excited to read it. Murphy Napier has been talking about her pirate books and she just read this one recent, relatively recently, and so I'm like, okay, it was there, let's buy it. Pretty sure it's Crichton. Sure, Michael Crichton. Um, and then I got Orphan Train by Christine uh, Baker Klein. I heard something about the Orphan Train in like ninth grade and I asked someone about it and they gave me like a brief description of what it was and then someone mentioned a book and I don't, I really don't know anything. I just have heard things about it and I figured I should read it. So it is a fiction, fictional story, a novel. So I'm excited about that. That's all that I got. Okay, so then I got Neverwhere by Neil Gaiman. I've never read any Gaiman. I've heard great things about him. I've heard good things about Neverwhere. Figured, okay, it was there as $1.50. Nice hardcover edition. Let's buy it. And the last one that I bought was Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norell by Susanna Clark. Again, this is one that I've heard a lot of stuff about. Mostly since joining booktube, I've heard people talk about it, how it's kind of like uh, Sherlock Holmes with magic. And I'm like, that sounds great. Let's, let's... So I've been looking for a good edition. This one's got a nice hardcover deckled edges again. Sounds like fun. Um, so yeah, well, I have no idea if I'll like it or not, but I'm glad to have it because it's, it looks impressive. It's one of those books that makes you feel smarter for owning it. So, <laughs> uh, that's, I think, all the books that I have bought since our last book haul. Yeah, we got a lot of fun things. Lots of stuff. Let us know if you really, really want us to read one of these books sooner rather than later. We'll, we'll consider it for sure. Yeah. Thank you all for watching Narrative Night Adventure.
We post videos every Monday and Thursday, and I think that's all you guys really need to know. Like and comment if you haven't already, subscribe to us as well. Uh, we will see you guys again soon. Stay warm.